G'day, how you going? This is Michael from O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead. Let's talk pigeons. Now, pigeons, um, all being equal, there's large ones, small ones, all that type of thing. But at the end of the day, these are kings. They're bigger than the average racing pigeon, but racing pigeons do a lot more flying, so they need require a bit of food extra too. So I just call it average, okay? They eat about two tablespoons of food a day uh, if you were to feed them regularly. Uh, like feed them um, a meal in the morning, meal in the afternoon. I don't. I don't go to that trouble. As you can see there, there's a feed over there. They're rather wasteful. But I put their feet around because pigeons can be very messy. They climb on top of their, look at that, they're on top of their food things now and they're crapping. Um, I make a wider cover than the base so that the food is always protected from their feces um, in case they land on it. And the brick stabilizes the top. They, it seems to work and no problems up to you now. Um, okay, so these little flying flea buckets, you can beat that, you know. You, after every um, hatchings, you get down, you clean down the top of their cage, of their um, perch, and and you uh, spray it with a disinfectant um, uh, 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 and maybe even, I was thinking about checking into this, but that um, uh, Dimatius Earth that we'll get, um, you, if you put that around, that might be a good thing to put in the nest and then put their hay on top because um, it, uh, it's very good at killing lice and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, back onto their, their task at hand, the feed. They eat about two tablespoons of food a day. Now, that's about 30 grams. It's a little over um, an ounce. Uh, about 1.058 or something. Well, let's call it our figures, one ounce. Um, if you, that's per bird. Now, if you multiply that over seven days, it's a bit over seven and a half ounces, um, which is about 213 grams. Um, nearly, yeah, about a fifth of a, of a kilo. They don't eat a great deal. I'm just, sorry I'm doing that. I think I had a blooming ant climb inside my shirt. I hope it wasn't one of them green ants, that'll sting. But, oh, we're getting a fair bit of it going on here. I've got something nasty in here. Oh, gotta find out. Something's got me. Don't know how it's got me. Ouch. 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 Whatever it was, it bit me about two or three times. And it's not nice. We have our ants here, like most places do. Now we have one called a green ant. Um, and it feels like that. Uh, it's the nastiest of all. It's, it's the nastiest of all. It's the nastiest of all ants. Uh, it, uh, it's stinger comes out of its butt. So when you grab something, it brings it round and bang gets it. There's a few things, you can, the thing called gockweed, uh, that's very good, um, it, it also helps against stinging nettle, this gockweed, and wherever it's stinging nettle, there's a thing called gockweed, and you get that and you rub it on, and it'll, it kills a lot of the sting, of different stings, actually, uh, it works against stinging nettle, helps you with, uh, with these green ants or any sting from a green ant, um, the only thing it doesn't do is um, uh, ask for a bill. <laughs> but the um, also a bit of petrol, I find, can uh, kill the pain. Anyway, I don't think it was a, a, um, a green ant because the pain's going away. Anyway, well, that was fun. <laughs> uh, I think I covered everything I had to talk about before. Anyway, so if um, uh, if you like liked what you seen, and I don't mean me with my shirt off. <laughs> um, uh, please like it, give it a big thumbs up, 
please ring that notification bell and um, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. Um, and again, the old uh, Facebook and things like that, Twitter, I don't know how to do that. I can do Facebook when my kids set it up for me. But uh, they reckon that's a good way to spread it too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later.